My name is Justin Courtney Pierre, and you are watching Bridge the Atlantic. I think one thing that stands out to me about Motion City Soundtrack is that, that you guys had a, a longevity that a lot of bands can only dream of. I mean, your career is around 20 years or so, and that doesn't really happen that much for many people. What do you think you could attribute that longevity <laughs> to? Uh, dumb luck. No. Uh, I think... I, I, Josh had a good take on this like a while ago, like before we really got going. I mean, we were a bit older than most people were. Like all of our peers are like, you know, five to eight years younger than us, I think. Uh, I'd have to do the math on that. But but like I think we signed our deal when we were like 26 um, with Epitaph. And I think leading up to that point... You know, we've been playing for four or five years, and I'd known Josh for almost ten, because our high school bands used to play with each other, and he he went to a different high school than me, and we just kind of meet up, you know, in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Duluth. Um, but he kind of said that his dealing with me being a total fuck show. Uh, <laughs> you know, I used to drink. I used to drink a lot. I've been sober for almost seven years now. Congratulations, uh, man. Thanks. Yeah, it's weird because I don't. I don't do anything to be sober other than not drink. No, uh, that's, that's huge though. But yeah, I, I, you know, and, and since like 2005, I think I, I'd been working toward it. And then I think I had my last drink in 2010, January. Uh, so I'm coming up on seven. But uh, dealing with that, which was a huge problem before, you know, like before we signed to Epitaph and then it kind of did this a little bit um, for a couple of years. But but dealing with a lot of like really hard shit early on, I think helped us to be more understanding, at least them more understanding of me and my problem and just us with each other. Whereas a lot of bands, they get together, they're pretty young. They start doing stuff, they blow up or whatever. And then a big problem happens and they just implode, you know? So that might be one thing that's totally separate from, from everything so, else, I think. So, would you say the relationships you know, is just so important in keeping a band together? The bonds. Yeah. Or, yes, and then also, even if you, <laughs> and this is not to say, but even if you have problems with certain people, and I think in bands you often like, you know, these two people over here might feel one way, and these three people over here feel another, or this person hates these two people right now, or what, you know. <laughs> but but there's usually like you can find. I think understanding how people are and realizing, okay, this is a part of their character that's never going to change. So how can we work with that uh, without enabling that behavior? But also, you know, like it, it's hard, really hard to explain, but it, it's more, I think it's almost more psychology. It's like, okay, we're going to like, this is everybody's pluses and minuses. Okay. And we just focus on the good stuff and either let the bad stuff slide or call each other out on it when we can. Um, I don't that, that like sounds like maturity vague. to me. That simply sounds like okay. maturity and, and respect for your, your bandmates. Sounds like being respectful yeah, well, of each okay. other and understanding, you know, which I think is but great. I think when you're in, when, when you're in like a small box moving across, you know, the world, you tend to get on each other's nerves easier. So I think in knowing that eventually you'll, you know, that time apart is really good so that when you get back together, it's exciting again and, and fun until it's not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, it, it, it's it's just, I mean, it's it's hard. Like, I would never want to come off sounding like I'm complaining about it because it's been, a, like, the best experience of my life, you know, other than having that terror of a child <laughs> and uh, and that wonderful woman who decided that she'd marry me, of all people. Um but yeah, but Motion City has been the best, you know, experience of my life.